stock hot. Uh, sorry, I filmed with my phone today. Forgot the camera. So yeah, if I measure here and compare that to this one, you will see quite a difference. And the knock height is, well, compared to the bearing surface, it's the same. So they have taken away material, a lot of material from the back compared to this for stock one. So with adjustable lifters, they will have much more Actually, it's a, I don't know if you can hear this. Ooh, surprise. There's a police helicopter been flying around here for a few hours today. I'm sure it's not the hot rod it's looking for. <laughs> I can, if I'm brave, port the intake quite a bit, but I think I will hit. You call it water jacket? Yeah. I can't take this much out, I don't think so. So I will take a block that I'm not going to use and I'm going to grind and see how far I can go. And uh, take the block that I'm going to use and grind uh, but not that much of course <clears throat> just to try it out um, here's the other one quite a bit of ridge in there so uh, I'm going to match this one to the uh, aluminium intake I have started with this one just rounded the edge off this one nothing as you can see the holes did not line up at all so I have to rig this up in the drill press over there and did some modifications So now it fits. <laughs> yeah, well, here's the carburetor intake, camshaft, pipes, flange. Uh, so I'm missing a um, high compression head and I am missing a good distributor. So yeah, that is a uh, small update on the current situation of this engine. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, see you on the next one. So long.